Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to what I hope is going to be an okay-ish tutorial of this uh, Facebook game here, the last one with Frozen Foxy. Um, this game's also known as uh, the scariest game, and your character is neither the last one nor is this the scariest game, but um, it's kind of fun. Um, now, I have been playing this with a few of the people who are... Um, on the Facebook fan page for my channel and um, a few of them were asking me random questions about this kind of stuff um, and getting confused with a few things here and there and uh, so a few of them suggested that a, uh, a tutorial video from me would be really awesome therefore here we go. Um, so anyway, you play this uh, nice little character here. Um, your character isn't going to start out in this creepy ass red armor like mine is. This is like level 40 something armor. Um, anyway, um, after uh, starting out the game, it will walk you through a little of a tutorial, which um, tells you to go hit some zombies and blah, 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 blah. Uh, but it doesn't really get into... Um, very much depth about everything in this game so hopefully I can uh, go over that um, anyway your character will have these two uh, statistics here which is uh, toughness and endurance and um, all those uh, get added up from different locations different things all that kind of stuff until it uh, uh, equates to your final attack power and your final health so for me I've got 1840 attack power and I've got 6110 health um, a lot of that comes from my clothing and a lot of that comes from my home what I'm standing in right now is considered my home quote unquote. Um, some of it comes from my car, some of it comes from photos. Photos are something that you uh, end up collecting and I'll show you exactly how that works. Um, and you can get some from bonus. Uh, the bonus is something that you'll uh, you'll get collection items and eventually once you get collection items you can uh, turn one of those collections in and you get a bonus for like 12 hours or something. Um, friends comes from anyone who you invite um, and then you'll get uh, a small percentage percentage of whatever their base attack and so forth is and we're probably going to see random pop-ups once in a while on this game because it's Facebook but anyway um continuing on uh we have a bunker which is actually a guild or a clan uh location um as you can see mine is zero zero right now but that is mainly because um we started up the uh the frozen army clan which is um kind of a, a frozen foxy clan for every fan and everyone to come together and enjoy playing together but we started that up like two days ago so we're still working on building something with that um, eventually when you build something up in uh, the bunker it will actually affect every clan member which is kind of cool and then finally you get some stuff from modules now um, modules are something that gets installed on what's called a drone which is this little guy that's floating behind me right now um, that's a heavy drone and I'll go ahead and uh, open up this weapons and armor place here so we can go look at those drones for a moment. Um, so when you open this up, uh, you've got three tabs here and drones is the last one which we're going to look at. Um, now, equipment, you may or may not uh, have all of these tabs unlocked when you, uh, when you first start playing. And that's because uh, as you level up, you'll get new things that you can buy over time. But let's go ahead and check out the drones. Um, when you uh, get around level 5, level 7, something like that, uh, the game will ask you to uh, pick a drone and it will be pointing at this heavy drone. You do not have to pick this heavy drone if you don't want to. Um, you can pick uh, either of the other two drones if you want. Um, otherwise, they will be locked until level 35. And at level 35, you can buy a new drone for a hundred thousand coins which is a lot of coins I am a pretty high level and I still have like sixty six thousand coins so I'm not gonna be wasting my money buying these um I don't really recommend um any of these more than the others um what I do recommend is that you don't get the EMP drone um it's kind of good kind of bad what it does is it uh, prevents criticals from happening to you as well as it prevents people who have blocking drones like mine um, from working 
sometimes. Uh, notice that it does have a percentage, so it doesn't necessarily work all the time. Um, the block drone will obviously uh, block incoming attacks and then you'll get hit for a much smaller amount, um, whereas the critical drone over here, the light drone, um, will cause you to do double damage once in a while uh, for that chance. Um, now in these drones you get this nice little module tab here where you can install uh, various types of modules that uh, you'll get through doing a PvP arena thing. Um, Eventually, when you get uh, three of the same module type, you can actually upgrade it with this nice little triangle here, and it does cost um, a little bit of money. Um, and the more that you upgrade it, the more money I imagine it's going to cost, and then eventually you get like crazy, crazy statistics from uh, the highest level drones up here, um, which you can obviously see that pretty much uh, I'm just starting out for the most part. I've only got like level two uh, modules in my thing here. Um, but as your drone levels up, you will unlock different slots um, in your drone to add more of these uh, nice little drone parts here. Um, and I definitely recommend taking three of these and fusing them together as soon as you possibly can. Um, there's the defense type here, which will obviously give you some extra health. Uh, the universal type, which will give you um, both health and attack. And then obviously the uh, final one is just attack. Um, I have one of each in mine currently. I like it that way. Maybe you want to have uh, three attack in here, three defense, I don't know, it really all depends on what your preference is. Um, but for everything that you install on your uh, drone, um, it will take a certain amount of time. For example, if you're installing a level one module, it will take about five minutes. Um, if you're installing a level two module, like these ones that I have in here, um, it will take 15 minutes. And I imagine that exponentially grows as you install um, heavier and heavier modules, probably culminating with something that takes an entire week to install. <laughs> I don't know, it could only take a day. I, I have no idea. I don't have one of these modules. But um, that's how the drones work there. Um, and basically, you just click on it. And then uh, if you have a free slot, it will let you install it. You click on install. It will take the time. Um, and once that time is over, you're going to click on a button that will be here that says activate. And uh, once it's activated, you've got the, uh, the extra bonus. And you can actually remove these at any time you want. So don't worry about putting something in that later on you decide you want to take out. Um, your car is uh, something that gives you a little bit of uh, extra bonus and you can add gear and such to it and that will um, add a bonus to you. Uh, for the most part I don't really care too much about the car because it doesn't seem to add that much bonus to me. Um, if you get uh, three friends who come to this and say that uh, you invited them, you'll unlock this car here for free and uh, be able to use it. Otherwise, you're going to be starting out with a rabbit and then um, moving up to the uh, wagon later on. Um, and both of those are kind of crummy cars, especially since the rabbit gives no bonus and the wagon gives a uh, 1-1. One, one. But you get 6-6 six, six with the uh, R9 here if you unlock that, which is kind of cool. Um, Speaking of uh, getting various amounts of uh, endurance and toughness here, uh, I'd like to go over the fact that um, one toughness is equal to about two attack power, uh, whereas one endurance is equal to about 20 hit points. So something to gauge um, what you're going through. Um, the armor and stuff that I got here was um, either from an event or um, it's whenever you start up a brand new character, I don't know, but it was dropping a whole bunch of blue and red pills and you got to open these crates and then you would get special stuff out of it and eventually I got this armor and I became kick-ass-ish. Um, the other thing that you can do from this uh, nice little window here is you can edit your character if you want to. Now this allows you to um, edit your name, so if you don't want your uh, your Facebook name uh, to be here, you can change that to something else here. Um, you can select a gender, you can select a skin color, you can select um, 
various uh, hair types here you can select various beard types here and I imagine there's other different things if you change your gender to uh, a female instead but anyway that uh, that about covers that um, for your home base here you'll uh, be able to build up random things um, your home base will not look like this when you start out everything will look kind of crushed down like this but um, as you uh, as you gain canned food here, you're able to use that canned food to actually uh, build more pieces onto your uh, your base and get extra endurance and toughness, so that you can do more attack damage and uh, take more damage at the same time. Um, for now, that that pretty much sums up things around here. Uh, this thing right here, this a Tree of Love, actually um, is built by friends helping you out. Um, the way that it works is your friends will give you hearts um, just by logging in and um, those hearts will allow you to rebuild this thing. Uh, the same thing with this uh, nice little flame thing here. Um, instead of hearts this is sparks and um, that will be built by sparks. So this and this are very easy to build if you have plenty of friends to help you out. You just basically click on them, click on build when you have zero um, to your name, and then it will let you ask friends for them, which is kind of nice. Anyway, um, so I was talking about the uh, clan bunker before, and that can actually be accessed from right here if you click on this nice little thing. And that's our little uh, clan symbol for the uh, the frozen army here. Um, or you can go ahead and click on this nice little clan button down here, which will uh, open up the clan window and show you uh, everyone who's in the clan currently, um, as well as giving you the ability to go to the bunker. Um, for me, I can change the uh, message of the day and all that kind of stuff since I'm the clan leader, but, uh, eh, you know. Um, another thing to mention from this clan window is there's a nice little uh, blue ball right here that will appear if uh, someone is online. So right now, um, it looks like we have uh, Cheyenne down here. Uh, Cheyenne. <laughs> he likes to uh, have the last part of his name be his name, or, or he likes to be called Vladimir one of those two. Anyways, he's online right now, um, so technically we could uh, we could do some stuff with him, but uh, for the moment we're going to head to the bunker and check that out. And of course we have super loud music down in the bunker, because uh, this game has a thing for techno and dubstep and random stuff like that, but uh, I I'm not going to, to leave that on, because that's going to just drown everything out. But anyway, um, down in this bunker, we won't be able to do very much, but uh, the way it works is that people will go up to a, a generator or any of the other items in here and um, offer resources uh, to invest in this and uh, once they're invested in it um, as we are in this generator over here which we're working on right now um, you'll be able to build it up however it requires microchips and uh, microchips um, take a while to get because you have to defeat uh, certain bosses which are called citadel bosses um, we'll get to that in a while we're almost there Got 150 microchips until we can uh, build level one of this uh, this generator for uh, for only a couple days for this guild being around. I think that's pretty quick, in all honesty. Anyway, um, so from here um, you could go to the garage directly if you wanted to. Um, I forgot to say, so that just takes you to your car. But anyway. Um, from here, we can uh, we can go just about anywhere that we want to. Um, I'm going to take us out to the map for now. Um, and each of these pieces of the map will be opened uh, one by one depending on uh, the requirements. I, I believe this first, uh, first requirement here for this one is to gain a certain level or defeat a certain number of things. As you get further on, instead of uh, the requirement being... To get to a certain level, it's um, to earn a certain amount of stars in the uh, in the previous zone. So stars are earned through going to uh, through 
different locations um, around here as well as rebuilding shops. So um, these are shops that I have rebuilt, uh, supermarket here and so forth. Um, and you can see them blinking right now because when you rebuild shops, uh, they'll eventually yield you um, cans of food, money, and uh, even energy. So we'll go ahead and grab some uh, some cans and such. And now this is a collectible item right here, and you'll see this nice little collection pop up here. Um, and I can actually take that, and that opens up this uh, this collection window. And these are things that I get to collect from uh, from taking um, from these businesses. Um, the sweeper set is actually from a different thing, and then there's um, there's more sets. Uh, this is from killing certain uh, types of zombies. Gladiator set is from uh, killing other players in the PvP arena. Uh, the gambler set comes from uh, going and gambling, obviously. Um, the city savior set here is uh, from rebuilding your own place, so your home, not the bunker. Um, the hero of the day set is uh, from going around... Um, and completing different missions daily. Um, and you'll get each piece of this uh, as you're completing those daily missions, and that's all about using up energy, defeating certain zombies, um, all that kind of stuff. And finally, we have the Faithful Companion set, which will um, be given to us by going to uh, friends' uh homes and helping them defeat zombies there actually you're just clearing out the zombies from their home and all that kind of stuff and there there's a uh, number of people who really don't realize that you can uh, you can go to your friend's place to uh, to pick up stuff from them now technically um, I could collect all the profit if I wanted to use one of these gold uh, coins here however gold coins are not something that you get normally um, there's something that you either have to purchase uh, with real world money or um, you get them through leveling up. Uh, the other thing is you get uh, one a day if you've invited two friends and completed some other stuff. Um, and it will show up as a stack of coins over here that will, uh, that will tell you exactly what you need to do um, to finish that. Anyway... Um, so with that out of the way, collecting a bunch of stuff around here, um, I'm going to start talking about how we get photos. Now, um, you can either go to a photo zone by clicking fight up here really quick, or um, you can click on one of the photo locations uh, where you would be getting photo fragments. Um, and what you have to do is you fight, as it says right here, and you clear out the zombies and destroy barricades and all that kind of stuff uh, till you possibly get a piece of the photo. Now this I have completed 5 out of 5, so that's not going to help me at all. Um, from this first location, photo pieces drop 100% of the time. When you get into later locations, like where I'm at, photo pieces start to drop a lot less, as you can see that this is uh, a 49 for this fragment piece. And I prefer hitting this fight button here because most of the time I won't be on the correct part of the map to actually see where I'm trying to go. But anyways, let's go to uh, this place by clicking fight and you'll kind of see uh, what it looks like. Now, of course, um, I have cleared out most of the things in this place uh, already. Um, so there's only a few things left in here and we've got like a bunny looking zombie. Anyway, um, that's a very good point to uh, to know about right away, is that even if you leave these locations, uh, things that you've cleared out already will remain cleared out until you finish clearing it out. So you can see that I have 9 of 9 of these magnifying glasses and 8 of 8 of this uh, roadblock looking sign, and I have 2 of 8 of uh, what looks like a X head which anyways this is zombies these are uh caches and this is roadblocks um i'll go back to this uh, after i have managed to destroy all the zombies around here so that we can um actually see what those look like and yes these guys do make lots and lots of annoying noise often um i'll click on this nice little gear and turn the sound off because 
they get uh, they get to be really annoying after a while. Now you'll notice I am leaving my character here and letting him get hit over and over again. A lot of people think um, in this game that if you're getting hit by these zombies, you're taking damage because there's random blood coming down and all that kind of stuff. You're not taking damage. You're not taking damage at all. You can stand here all day long and it won't do anything to you. Um, this is literally an energy-based uh, section of the game where no damage gets dealt to you. So this, uh, this health that I have doesn't matter. Nothing at all. Um, so you can stand here as long as you want. And you can wait for your energy to uh, regenerate. But let's go ahead get rid of that zombie. So it costs 20 energy to get rid of him, and then you'll notice that uh, your energy will uh, start to boost up again. And you can see that we're getting sweeper sets from uh, killing things around here. Now I'm going to go ahead and find all the different little zombies. These guys totally look like they're alien zombies to me. But as you can tell, there are different energy levels for um, each of the zombies throughout this game. Um, in the early levels, you're going to see zombies that cost around three to five and all that kind of stuff. And as you get further, zombies are gonna cost a whole lot more to take down as well as um, barricades and so forth will cost a whole lot more to take down. And you'll see that um, if you leave stuff around, experience and money and all that kind of stuff, just leave it sitting on the ground, it will eventually uh, come to you anyway so you don't really have to do anything um, with that and also the way that I'm moving the screen around is I'm just holding down and sliding the window around if I want to move my character instead I just click once and uh, that will change my location and same thing with um, killing zombies you just click once on them and that'll take them out of course if you're out of energy then you can't really do anything to the zombies all right, so we've got one more zombie who's right there. So we'll go ahead and walk up to him, which will take a year and a day because my character is as so slow as molasses. And there we go. Nice and up on the zombie. And as you can see, we got a whole bunch of stuff out of him, but we didn't get a puzzle piece. <laughs> So I got nothing out of that. Fun times. So at this point, you would uh, you'd basically go back, and the puzzle um, pieces after a while will start to uh, go up in percentage. So as you saw before, it was forty nine percent chance. Now we're up to fifty three percent chance. So even if you don't get it uh, one time, it will eventually start building up the chance that you will get it uh, again in the future. And I just want to come back real quick so I can show off caches and barricades. So with caches and barricades, you'll actually see a nice little icon above them to, uh, to tell you where things are. Now, this isn't always true that you will um, be able to see it uh, as easy as this. Um, for example, sometimes things can be hidden uh, a bit. If you notice, there's just a slight little bit of a barricade over here and the problem with this game that I really don't like is when something is um, hidden like this also if something hits me this uh, green will disappear and I'll know that I'm not running but anyways if something is hidden like this you may not notice that it's over there and uh, sometimes the only way to notice that it's there is to uh, to travel behind objects so it uh, makes them opaque for you to uh, to look through and uh, find items behind them. So I'm going to show that real quick right here when we get behind this nice little bin here. So as you can see this becomes opaque and you can start seeing stuff that's behind here and there will be some really really painfully um, hidden stuff around here where sometimes um, there'll be like one little tiny barricade at the end of trains like this and you have to go all the way down and around and up and so that that can be a bit of a pain in the ass but um for the most part it's just a a, a searching kind of thing 
until you can find something. Um, now, you'll also have the ability to uh, regenerate energy if you've got uh, one of these sports drinks or an energy boost. Sports drinks will come from um, asking other people to give it to you. Um, if you're giving gifts to anyone and then you close the gift giving window, uh, it will pop up a box that tells you, do you want to give gifts to other people who are playing this game? And if you do, that's actually giving sports drinks to other people. And if they accept the sports drink, then it gives you a sports drink back. So they can't just take the sports drink and uh, jip you out of one. You actually get one, even if they don't know you. Uh, for batteries, these ones will either come from uh, spending 10 of these nice little gold coins on it, uh, or from uh, generating it from the slot machine. So sometimes you can win those out of the slot machine. And I'll go ahead and uh, open this slot machine real quick so you can take a look at that. And this uh, basically has a nice little list of everything that you can possibly uh, obtain from this machine. And the more that you play this machine, the more lucrative that this machine becomes. So I highly recommend using as many coins as you have on uh, playing this machine whenever you can because it will level up. And uh, as it levels up, these locks will come off, uh, allowing you to get uh, different uh, different ways of getting items. So the first item's pretty easy to notice. This is just like straight across, straight across, straight across, uh, diagonal, diagonal. Now you may wonder why that six is there because we've already got the five going diagonal. Well, that six is kind of a weird one. It actually goes a different direction. So it actually goes like this. Um, so these ones over here give you uh, special special uh, locations where it will go through. I imagine this will probably do this and this one probably do that and so forth and so on. But um, it gets you a whole bunch of different ways of getting this. So playing all the lines can be really nice and you can generate a whole bunch of different things. Now keep in mind that even if you have um, like one here and one here, this does not mean that you win uh, this nice little bandage looking thing right here. Um, instead, it means that you win nothing. They actually have to be in order. So if a hand was here and a hand was here, then I would win. But having it like this means you have won nothing. Um, now, if you're playing all the lines, if I had enough coins to do it, um, then you can win whatever appears on the line. So um, if, for example, I had this line right here, I could get uh, these eyeballs, which would be a nice little energy boost. And then I would also um, have this line right here. So I would get these bullets, which would give me uh, experience. Um, and we'll just go ahead and flip the switch to play this and show how it works. Obviously, uh, very similar to regular machines, and I won nothing, but uh, technically it gives you 10 coins all the time. Um, when you win nothing, you can sometimes also get um, little uh, collectible items uh, that I was showing you in the collections before. And uh, eventually, if you get the entire collection for the slot machine, you get a grenade out of it, which is pretty awesome. Um, that basically explains the slot machine other than the fact that uh, once a day you'll get a free slot machine play and that free play with the uh, the slot machine actually gives you all lines for free. Um, so currently, since I've got a level six here, when I get the free play, I'm going to get all six lines, which is really nice. So definitely play that as much as possible to open it as much as possible. Now, um, those collectibles that we saw earlier, I clicked on them from here to get to them, but you can also get to the collectibles over here if you want to get to them. And when you're ready, you can just click on uh, Take Here, and that will consume uh, one row of the items. And as you can see, I've got leftover ones, but I still need this nice little pocket watch to uh, fill it up. And you can also have a nice little wish list up here of items that you would like to get. For me, I really appreciate having energy boosts. So my wish list is the uh, entire businessman set here, uh, rather than having a sweeper set, which gives a, a med kit. A med kit's pretty good, but um, at some point when you get a ton of med kits, you don't really care too much about it. Um, this will give you an extra 10% toughness. This will give you an extra 10% uh, energy. 
Um, grenade, as I was talking about earlier, this will give you 10% endurance. Um, this will give you some money, and this will give you some canned food. Now, speaking of canned food, once again, you can actually visit friends that you have uh, who are playing this game to gain canned food from them. Now, if you visit someone that you have um, already visited before, for example, I know I have uh, visited Sebastian here um, in the past. And you just click on his nice little picture there and you click on visit. But um, if you visit them and you have visited them in the past, you'll get um, a lesser amount of cans of food as compared to um, you would get with someone that you had uh, never gotten uh, cans of food from before. So as you can see, if I hold down um, my mouse and I start moving the screen around, it will actually freeze the zombies and kind of freeze time. Um, for zombies that are... Um, in this little area, uh, it's literally just a click to kill them. If coins and experience pops out, you know that uh, it's your time of the day that you can still get um, cans and stuff out of uh, going to friends places. So we'll go ahead and click the rest of these guys and I've gotten 10 cans of food out of that. Now if I go to someone um, who I haven't been before, I'm going to get a, a number more uh, cans. So let's go ahead and find some random lucky person in this list that I haven't been to before. And I have no idea. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Let's see here. Just go to further. Further. Yes. Um, you look like I've never been to you. Storm, whatever your name is. And a lot of the time you'll be adding people that you meet in battle and so forth because it actually gives uh, you extra stuff. And you can tell that this guy has been building up his stuff. His place looks pretty awesome, even more awesome than my place. Um, he's got stuff going on that I did not have going on in my location. This place looks a little bit nasty, but... Um, Anyway, we'll go ahead and uh, click on these zombies. And the more stuff that is um, in these locations, you'll start to notice that there is uh, a little bit of lag with the uh, zombies moving around. Um, but as you can see, we got 30 cans of food this time. Um, you can click on share rewards, but this doesn't actually share anything. What this does is it writes um, a note on their page that says, hey, I cleared your place. Why don't you clear mine? And honestly, no one gets anything out of it whatsoever, so I never share that. There's just no reason whatsoever. It's, it's a waste of time, and it, uh, it puts notes up on people's spaces that they don't want to see because it's annoying. Um, anyway, you might have heard that little beep a little while ago and noticed that this went from 12 to 13. So this is um, your little quote-unquote smartphone um, that will have messages and so forth. Now this will have um, either gifts that people are giving you. So uh, 30 different people have just given me cans of food. And I can just grab that and I get nice little cans. And then other people have been giving me uh, grenades as gifts. Now, um, I can't send gifts right now, but um, there is a list of gifts uh, when you click on send gifts, um, and that list contains uh, bandages, energy, uh, grenades, um, a bunch of different armor pieces, um, and a, a space gun. Don't send the armor pieces. Don't send the space gun. They're worthless. Don't do that. Um, don't send the bandages either. Bandages are worth a uh, hundred coins and getting a hundred coins is not that difficult. It's not really necessary. Grenades are worth um, two of the gold star coins. So those are very, very helpful. And a lot of people will often send grenades. As you can see, I've got a whole bunch of people who are sending me grenades at the moment. Um, but definitely send grenades. Definitely do that. That's a good choice. Um, the other choice that's a good choice is to send energy. Um, because later on in the game, energy becomes something that gets wasted so quickly that you're going to want more energy um, so that you can get photos and so forth. And you also notice that we've got this daily bonus here, and this is actually going to give me another star coin. And usually we'll give either a thousand coins, um, a health kit, or something similar. 
That gave me a large med kit and a star coin. It kind of went by fast, but um, that allows me to play the slot machine again. I'll do that a little, a little bit later off camera. Um, now uh, let's let's go ahead and discuss a few more of these buttons down here. The squad down here is people that you have invited to the game. So if you click on this, um, you can click on invite or you can click on call friends. Um, I have no idea what the call friends button is meant to be for. As far as I know, it's the same thing as invite. And so I normally just use invite. But um, as people grow in strength, you'll actually get a little bit of strength and stuff from them so it's kind of cool having people that you uh you invited to the game um because it helps you a little bit uh also you can help your friends by going to them and uh, assisting them with stuff anyway with uh with all that out of the way let's go ahead and start looking at uh fights and so forth so in this game, there are um, special zombies, which are called uh, cadavers. And uh, this one here, for example, is the Mechanics Misses. Um, and we've got uh, the firefighter over here. We've got um, the chief cook here. We've got Madame, uh, Madame Alzheimer. And we've got... Uh, stuff up here sheriff uh, surgeon there's tons and tons and tons and tons of these different cadavers they are special um zombies that are much more powerful than uh, what we thought to try and get photo pieces and these ones uh, are where your health will actually start to matter because they can actually hit you and do damage to you and then uh, your attack uh, power will also matter because you do that amount of damage to them um, so we'll go ahead and uh, check out the chief cook here. This is one of the very first people that you will uh, you'll be fighting in this game. And obviously this is way too weak for me because it's uh, one of the first ones that you fight in this game. And he'll only have uh, 1,200 health. Um, for me, my level's way too high, so I can't join any uh, join any battles or whatever. It it just becomes a private battle. So we'll go ahead and click new battle here. Um, now, I strike so hard that I will literally kill this guy in one hit. Um, but the whole idea is to attack these cadavers and uh, get special stuff from them. So from this guy, we get a spatula. And those spatulas will allow you to rebuild the business that's nearby. Um, so, for example, this one would allow me to rebuild the bar over here. Um, and once you rebuild it to the maximum level of five, it gives you 120 coins, uh, every nine or 10 hours. I can't remember exactly what it is, but for every spatula that you get, you can actually exchange it for a little bit of coin. Um, later on, you'll actually need, uh, the same thing that you used for the cadaver to, um, to build this bar and all this kind of stuff and the pharmacy over here for, um, additional uh places so instead of just using the uh the spatula to rebuild this i might have to use the spatula and another item at the same time so sometimes it will make you go back to kill old cadavers just so that you can build new businesses up um and we'll go to one of the newer locations um newest location for me anyway uh that i am still rebuilding businesses around so if we go up here, I've got a business up here that I still need to rebuild. And as you can see, I need to get some dumbbells from this uh, Olympia person uh, to rebuild this. And that will give me 133 uh, monies uh, to start out. And that's a level one. So I can build that up to level five and whatever that ends up giving me in the end, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, and then we've got this over here. So as you can see, there's two items here to uh, rebuild this playground. I've got uh, some plush toys, which just looks like teddy bears to me. And then we've got uh, a piece of ice over here, or what I would say is an ice cube. Um, and the ice cube here actually comes from a previous area, which is right down here. This guy gives uh, the ice cube. His name is the Defroster. Um, and then you'll also have to get the teddy bears, which come from the Milligan sisters over here. So... Um, Basically, you just have to combine items to rebuild locations. 
and get further uh, items. Um, some of these locations actually will give, uh, as I've mentioned before, energy instead of um, cans of food and money. Let's see if I can find one of those. Here we go. So this, uh, instead of giving money and cans of food, actually gives uh, energy to me. And I could give these four ice cubes to make some money, but I'm going to keep those because I need to rebuild the other place. Um, but after three and a half hours here I'll be getting some money from or energy from this which is kind of cool um, I think this takes like 14 hours normally but uh, it's nearing the end of its cycle now we're gonna go ahead and go all the way back to um, the beginning area here and I'm going to show off a citadel battle now this citadel citadel battle is uh, beneath me I am capable of doing it on my own um, but normally it will be a, a quite difficult battle where your entire clan is meant to come in and uh, help you defeat the creature so that you can defeat it in a certain amount of time depending on how much time you defeat it in, you get different uh, rewards so if I get it in five minutes I get this tier if I get it in 15 this tier 30 and this tier and if you don't do it in 30 then uh, the battle is over um, now, for each time that you attack a, a citadel creature, like Lady Silkworm here, um, it will start a timer that lasts 30 minutes. Now, this is a clan-wide timer, so everyone in the clan um, will have that 30-minute timer to where they can't fight any of the citadel battles until the 30-minute timer has expired. Anyway, we'll go ahead and uh, start this up. And it will actually allow you to uh, to post to your wall about the battle. Um, I often don't do that because when you start up one of these battles, it will actually send a message to all of your clan members anyway um, so that they will know about it. Now, the problem that I really don't like with um, Lady Silkworm here is when you hit her, um, it actually will lag to the point you have to wait for this smoke to disappear before you can actually do another attack which is a pain in the ass because <laughs> as you notice um, it doesn't actually show um, the blue outline around her until that smoke disappears big big pain in the ass to uh, to go through but um, eventually you'll you'll be able to go and kill big things like this with your clan and this will give uh, microchips, which we were talking about earlier, which are required to, uh, to build things inside of uh, your clan's bunker. Um, so you basically have to kill these things. The other thing that this does give is uh, clan experience. And the clan experience is uh, used to um, expand the clan itself. Because as the clan levels up, there is um, an allowance of more people. Uh, at level 1, you start with an allowance of 10 people in your clan. Um, whereas when you get to level 2, you'll get an extra 5. And every level thereafter, you'll get an extra five so currently we've got a level two clan as it is and um, that's giving us the ability to have 15 people in here um, if anyone feels like joining up in this game to um, enjoy this game I suppose then you can um, go ahead and sign up for the game um, sign up for uh, the Facebook page which is the, uh, the frozen foxy fan page or whatever um, and send me a note. Just send me a note, and I'll uh, I'll send you an invite um, as a friend on Facebook, as well as uh, sending you an invite to the game. And finally, once you get into the game, I'll send you an invite to the clan. Now, the reason I have to send an invite to the clan itself is because it's actually a closed clan right now, um, rather than being an open one for anyone to join. So. Everyone who's in the clan is um, people who like to watch uh, the videos that I'm putting up on YouTube. So I, I think that's kind of cool that I get to sort of ish play with people um, on here. And I, I really, I really like participating with the community wherever I can. Anyway, we're almost done with this nice lady silkworm battle here. And she'll explode into misery and uh, it only took us three minutes to fight through that um, so we get the rewards of coins we get clan experience and we get some microchips which is quite nice 
working to uh, to build up the clan even more. Anyway, um, the last thing that we uh, that we have to look at um, besides um, cadavers, which I am going to show one of the later cadavers because there's something I would like to um, to show off. Um, is the arena battles here, which is uh, player versus player battles. Um, now, I'm not currently in my league because I'm not in uh, the right location. I should be in the uh, the final map, but you can just click on to your league and apply for a battle here. I will probably lose this miserably because a lot of people like to use health kits and grenades and a whole bunch of different things. Um, and I, I just don't really... Uh, I don't really use most of those things because I tend to like to try and save those for Citadel battles when it's actually something really difficult because it helps the clan um, if we're winning Citadel battles. Whereas if I'm winning these battles, the only thing it's giving is a small amount of uh, clan experience and experience from myself as well. Now, I'm actually fighting myself here. These are NPCs. Um, you'll notice that they're NPCs by them being called Stormtrooper 10, 12, 14, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and you can see that they have uh, drones of their own, and you have your turn going by. You can use grenades down here, health kits, and bandages. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attack this guy because he's got a critical drone here, and I do not want to uh, deal with that. And so I've got a, uh, a drone on my side as well who will help me out. And as you can see, my block is quite nice when it works because it uh, it takes the brunt of the damage and I end up uh, winning battles quite thoroughly because of it. And I don't need um, too much assistance uh, when it comes to fighting myself. Because <laughs> these are obviously not going to be nearly as smart as uh, human players who will be using grenades and health kits and so forth. Uh, now, this is where you can get modules um, sometimes. So, randomly when you're winning these, you will get a, a module of some sort. Um, in my league, you'll get a module level 1 or uh, 2. Um, in the very first league, you'll only be getting a level one module. As you go up further, you're going to be getting better and better modules, and you actually get um, PvP rank here, which eventually, once your rank gets uh, high enough, you'll move to another league. Um, now that uh, PvP rank also is uh, experience for your drone, so uh, your drone will eventually level up uh, when you're doing PvP battles like this. All right, so... We have uh, basically explored pretty much everything around here. I imagine there's something that I'm forgetting to say. Um, but I am going to uh, go ahead and check out a, uh, a battle up here with a cadaver that's going to be way, way, way too hard for me to uh, defeat on my own. And um, there is a very good reason for that. We're going to go ahead and attack the sisters here for one of their teddy bears. Uh, there's no active fights currently, so I'll go ahead and click on a new battle here. And um, even if it's a new battle, eventually uh, some people will start to join up, uh, which is uh, quite nice because eventually they'll start to uh, help you out. Now, as you can see, my weapon's pretty busted up right now, so I have to repair it for uh, quite a bit of money. Um, the lower level weapons will not cost nearly as much as this high level weapon. Um, but you can also go and use some of your other weapons if you decide um, that repairing that is too much for whatever reason. But we're going to go ahead and hit these two for a little while. And once we have finished hitting them, these guys hit for um, about 800 at maximum. So you can see I have uh, 572. If I hit them again, I'm going to get killed. Um, eventually, uh, other participants will start coming in here. You can also invite friends to the battle to uh, assist you here. But if you get in this situation where this thing is way too hard, um, you haven't managed to defeat it. Obviously, I've only taken out a little tiny bit, and I'm pretty much dead here. Um, then you can just uh, leave to the map. Go for it. That actually does not cancel the battle. 
The really cool thing about this is this battle is still going right now. So um, this battle will go for the next two hours. Um, and if nothing happens for the next two hours, then this, uh, this battle is over and you don't get any rewards for it. But you can actually click on this to go uh, straight back into the battle if you feel like it. Maybe you want to go back in because you want to uh, heal up and start doing some extra damage yourself. I don't know. The other possibility is you want to go back in because uh, you want to invite friends to it so that they'll help you uh, to defeat it. Currently, I'm not going to worry about that. Eventually, someone will come in there and they'll uh, assist in that. Now, some other things that your smartphone can do besides uh, looking at uh, people who are trying to ask for help here, which I didn't go to help them during this, which is fine because they ask quite often, is you can uh, you can see the resources that you currently have. So you can see um, teddy bears that you got, you can see uh, energy boosts, you can see med kits, all that kind of stuff, and you can see your money and your canned food and all that stuff is all right here, which is quite nice um, because maybe you want to see just how much you need left um, until you are capable of rebuilding a business. Uh, these are the, the sparks that I was talking about earlier that come from friends. I don't have any hearts left. Um, these sparks will sit here forever because I can't do anything with them. They're useless. The other thing that you can do from this phone that I find really helpful is you can go to cadaver battles. So every cadaver that you um, have ever fought is right here to where you can go and um, attack them straight from here. So um, the person that I was fighting was the sisters here and you just click on attack. Now the thing about this is you can't attack another cadaver while you already have a cadaver battle open. As you can see there's now four people in here and they're uh, doing some work on this person which is uh, cool with me because eventually they will uh, end up killing it which is awesome. Now the other thing I would like to say about not being able to start extra cadaver battles is you cannot start a citadel battle because a citadel battle is actually considered another form of cadaver. So you can't fight these while you're fighting another cadaver. Um, I also can't go and uh, help out people who are asking for my help um, while I'm fighting a cadaver. Uh, what I can do right now while I'm fighting this cadaver is I can go and do more PvP battles if I feel like it. Um, or I can go work on clearing out one of these places to try and get more photograph pieces. Uh, that won't do anything to the, uh, the cadaver battle whatsoever. However, um, on the opposite end of the stick... If you go into a PvP battle and you decide that you want to fight a cadaver in the middle of a PvP battle, it will be like you have lost the battle instantly. Um, it's it's like you're timing out of the battle and you're just going to something else completely. So you don't get any victory spoils whatsoever um, from leaving the PvP arena. Whereas with um, any of these photo pieces, um, if you clear out... Uh, half of this stuff and then you leave um, to do a cadaver battle or a PvP fight, these uh, things will remain the same that they were. So if we go and look where I was before, which is going to be all the way over here. Actually, no, it's not. It is on this map. But um, the one that we are fighting at is um, up on this map right here. This is where we were uh, fighting before. And if I look at this, the things that I destroyed on camera are still destroyed right here, uh, according to this. And if I click on fight, they will still be destroyed and I can continue clearing it out. Now, a lot of people think that you have to stay in there and uh, let your energy regenerate or you have to use one of the energy boosts. It's not true. You can leave whenever you want and you can come back whenever you want. So at least uh, there's that. Now, there's a lot of places that cost way more energy than you have, so it's going to take a while. But uh, eventually you, uh, you start to get photo pieces and once you complete a full photo, it actually... Um, will give you something that looks cool like this and you get um, bonuses from it. So you get toughness, you get endurance um, from each of these photos and I've got 
a number of photos that I've completed and I'm still working on uh, photo six over here. But uh, once I complete this, I'm going to get these uh, bonuses and they are permanent bonuses. You can also buy these pieces if you really want to, but I wouldn't recommend it unless you want to spend a lot of money on coins and stuff. Um, if you do want to spend money on coins for whatever reason, you can click here and it uh, opens something that you can purchase um, stuff through. I'm not going to do that. No, thank you. Um, now, the other thing that we've got going on over here, you might have noticed, is uh, these coin looking things and this uh, puzzle looking piece. These are quests over here. So um, if you complete these quests for really weird looking people, um, you get uh, different types of uh, rewards for it. So uh, for this one, I need to collect the sixth photograph and I will get these rewards. Um, for this one, uh, she wants me to purchase a random uh, weapon, which I did not feel like purchasing. In fact, I think these are all um, that particular girl's quests. There's other various uh, quest givers, um, and they're uh, quite random. So as soon as you get rid of one quest, this is about to die and pop up in a reward, but as soon as you um, get rid of one quest, a new quest will pop up. Um, so anyways, as you can see, the cadaver eventually got defeated, even though I wasn't there, and I get rewards out of it. Um, and I didn't even really have to uh, worry about it. It will let you go straight on back to uh, to join other battles, uh, start a new battle, all that kind of stuff. We're not going to do that currently. Um, that, for the most part, covers it, other than the fact that you, uh, you can get achievements here. These achievements don't really do anything other than being bragging rights on your profile. So if we look at uh, the profile of one of these random people here, you'll actually get to see their uh, their highest level achievements in whatever field um, listed here. So it's kind of like uh, bragging rights stuff. And you get to see how much endurance and toughness they have, what they look like, what their car looks like, all that kind of stuff. And um, you can invite them to battles, all that kind of stuff. Um, Let's see. I think I think that really about covers it. There is a ratings bar here, so you can um, you can basically look at everyone uh, and their ratings. You can see um, just how many people uh, have been destroying zombies and how much experience they've earned in a week. And you can see what you're rated on this. I'm probably rated way down here, 797. Yeah, I'm not that high up, but uh, I've earned a lot of experience nonetheless. Um, if we look at all time, then you can uh, you can find the most powerful people. So there's a level 102 person out there somewhere. I'm probably way down here. Yep, 7,000 something. A lot further because all time is a lot different from uh, my character who has been around for probably one week. <laughs> I haven't been around that long uh, on this game, but I've been enjoying it. Um, you can also see uh, cadaver battles, arena fights, missions, which are uh, where you get uh, the puzzle pieces, the slot machines, you can see um, stats in general, um, and you can see clans and see where the clans are ranked um, in all of this stuff. Rankings, not particularly important. Uh, the only time that a ranking is important, and it looks like I've got some more things that want to give me stuff, but the only time that a ranking is important is when you are fighting a uh, citadel battle. Because uh, as you'll notice up here, uh, the people that are in first place will get um, extra endurance and toughness for one day uh, for their entire clan. They'll also get some extra clan experience and uh, a number of microchips, which is kind of nice. Um, but you have to uh, defeat it uh, so many times to get enough points to win that. Um, now, I believe the points are um, exactly the same as how many microchips you're getting. So if you get 30 microchips, you get 30 points. If you get 24, you get 24 points, so on and so forth. Um, that basically about does it, other than uh, there's experience here. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else. There's probably something else. Um, someone can let me know. And uh, if there is something else, it will probably be in the description of this video or the comments of this video. Um, and you can check it out from there and uh, learn more about it. Oh, by the way, you can uh, click to go home in any of the map locations if you see that home icon. 
and that will always bring you to the same home. There is no different home. And someone randomly gave me a few coins. Good for them. Thank you, person who randomly gave me coins. There, I got 10 coins from that. <laughs> I don't normally uh, share the uh, coin box with other people because 10 coins just doesn't seem worth it. Anyway, um, I will see you all later. Hope you've all enjoyed this uh, long tutorial here. Um, there is one more thing that I'm thinking about. Um, the chat uh, window here is for your clan only. Um, and it, once you're in a clan, you'll be able to see messages uh, from your clan. And messages from your clan actually stick around. Um, and then you'll get the message of the day every time that you log in. So it's kind of cool. And you can just kind of talk to your clan right here and uh, organize things, invite people to, uh, to things, tell them that you're about to do a Citadel battle, all that kind of stuff. Um, good way to organize. Good way to organize. But yeah, that... Uh, that about covers it. As far as I can think of, um, I'll go ahead and rebuild this just so that you can see what happens. So we're rebuilding the, uh, the final level here and suddenly there's a zombie inside and that gives me a new object, which is down here. But yeah, so I basically rebuilt this and now there's a random zombie inside and that gave me a little bit uh, extra attack power and a little bit extra health. So that's cool. And that's basically how you build stuff. I will uh, see y'all later with um, more random stuff. Bye for now.